Hey guys, the purpose of this video is to show you how to log into your Google account where you'll have access to both your Google Mail and your Google Drive. So the first thing you need to do is click on Google Chrome. I have a shortcut here on my desktop. If you don't have Google Chrome installed, then you can check out video number 8, which will show you how to install it on your laptop. So we'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And the first thing we'll need to do is navigate to the Google homepage. So I have it set up to automatically come to this page. Um, if you don't, then you'll just need to go up to the top bar and type in google.com and hit enter and you should be brought to this page. Up at the top right of this page, you'll notice a button that says sign in. We'll go ahead and click on that and that'll take us to the login page. At this point, you just need to enter in your email address and your password. And then we make sure that the stay signed in box is checked. That way we don't have to sign in in the future and uh, the computer will remember our username and password. So we click sign in. And now we're brought back to the home page, but you'll notice up at the top right, instead of saying sign in, it actually shows your email address. And that means that you are signed in. So to access your mail or anything like that, you just need to come to this apps button, which is super important. This is kind of our little control center allows us to access anything that we want to access any of our Google products so we click on that and then you'll see this drop down and on this drop down is mail and also our drive so we'll go ahead and click on mail and that will bring us right into our Google Mail and now say we wanted to access our drive uh, we can just come back up to that apps button click on that and you can open drive as well and you notice they're here in two separate tabs I have uh, my email and my drive open. And so uh, now let's pretend that uh, we close out and uh, we return to our computer the next day after we've already logged in. And uh, we come into Google Chrome. You'll notice that because we checked that box that said stay signed in, uh, we are still signed in up here at the top. So we don't actually have to enter any information again. We get to just click on the apps button and open up whatever it is we'd like to use like mail. So that's the conclusion of this tutorial. I hope that I helped you guys figure out how to log in. If you have any other questions, be sure to check out our other instructional videos on our website.